I even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again for another How to Play video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play Disney Cookie Swap Game from Funko Games. It's for two to five players, ages six plus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is gather all the cookie swap cards and then go through them and remove a certain number of sets of cards based on the player count you have. And I'll post a picture right here. So right now, I'm playing a three-player game, so I'm actually going to get rid of six sets. Now, what a set is are four matching cards that all have the same image but different colors on the background. So this is a set of Daisy, this is a set of Buzz Lightyear, but anywho, I've got a three-player game set up, so I'm removing six of these sets and putting those back into the box. Now with the rest of the cards, you're going to shuffle them all up, you're going to place four cookies out onto the cookie pan right here in the center, and then you're going to make sure that each player has three piles of cards, and each pile of cards should have four cards in it. Now, do not look at these piles of cards. This is a memory game. You'll know you did everything correctly because there should be no leftover cards. Now that you got everything set up, the youngest player is going to go first, and then it will move to the player on the left, and then the player on the left, and it will go clockwise the entire game. With that out of the way, let's show you what a turn looks like. And the first thing you're going to do is pick one of your face-down cookie swap piles, and you're just going to pick it up and look to see what's in that pile. So right now i got two Elsas, a Mulan, and a Woody in here. And the whole goal of the game is to get three complete sets. So this is actually a pretty decent start. So I'm going to look at my hand, and then I'm going to look at what's out on the cookie sheet, and I'm going to swap one of the cards from my hands with one of the cards from the cookie sheet, and you have to do this every single turn. So for me, this is pretty easy. I'm going to take this Elsa right here, and then you know what? I'll just leave this Mulan. And then since this is a memory game, I want to try and remember that this is my Elsa pile. And then I put it face down like so. So now we'd move on to the next player on the left. We'll take a look at what they got. They'd probably swap this card right here because that gives them two. But since it's not a complete set, they put it back face down. And then it goes to the next player, and they'll pick this. And we now see a scenario where none of the cards are going to help this player out out here. You still have to swap, like I mentioned. And this player loves Toy Story. So you know what? They're just going to take Woody. They'll leave that right there. And bada boom, in this example, it gets back to our original player. And our original player is very excited because that's the card they need. So they would take that, put it into their hand, get rid of Woody. And now since they have a complete set, they'd say, ding! and place this set face up in front of them. And now they're one step closer to winning the game because the whole goal is to have three complete sets in front of you. And the first person to do that will win the game. Now, one clarification I wanna mention is that there are only four cards of each type in the game. So once you get a set, you won't see that card anymore. But since this player hasn't completed all their sets, it would once again move to the next player clockwise. But that's how you're gonna play Disney Cookie Swap Game. But let's talk about a few different variants you can play if you wanna mix it up. The first one is called Hot Hands, and this is where everyone's going to be playing at the same time. You won't be taking turns. You're going to race to swap your cards from the cookie sheet as fast as you can, hoping to complete sets. And the major rule for this game mode is when you swap, you must place a card on the cookie sheet as soon as you take one. So there's always four cards on the cookie sheet. The next game mode is called Expert Bakers. So if you have some players at the table who are really good at playing... At the beginning of the game, when you take out sets, you might leave an extra set or two in, and then that player will get an extra pile of cards that they will have to complete before they win the game. So in this example, they would have to complete four, and these two players would only have to complete three sets of cookies. And last but not least is Cookie Crazy, and if you only have two or three players, try a longer game. Give each player one or two more stacks of cookie cards when you set up the game. But well, that's Disney Cookie Swap Game. If this helped you out, consider giving this a thumbs up and also consider subscribing as I teach games all the time. But go have some fun and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month and as always, thanks for stopping by.